Okay, back at now I'm going to switch into the semi auto bolt here. So put that in there. So as I mentioned, obviously when you store, I store it without the bolt. Sometimes I take off the bolt sleeve, but I don't close the halves if I have the bolt sleeve in. Uh, less wear on the O-ring inside, you'll, you'll see. Anyways, um, in, install and uninstall the lock bolt when you're not using it because it makes it easier for the bolt to go in. Less work. Um, track, of course. That was it. The heck. <laughs> wow, that's pretty funny. There's hardly any movement in there. Did feel impact here, but it's not an impact. It's like. It's like the lock bolt's right against the the bolt, but like maybe a millimeter or a half, I'm not sure, away. Okay. Let's see if this moves. Can't really tell. It's like it's hardly any movement. Hardly. Alright, well. Do have a round ball mag, let's make sure, and a first strike mag, a couple rounds, first strike is for first, okay, out, out, Well, that was hilarious. Um, hmm. So for two tenths. I'm sorry, the bolt. See how that looks. Okay. So as I mentioned before, reset the process. Whoops. Forgot it was still cocked back. Bad stuff. Okay, that bolt's fine. So it's a very minor movement that I felt. Let's see if there's any. Obviously it would be up here. Maybe that's something. It's a slight. Then again, I definitely should have checked out my bolt before, but maybe that's something.
but uh, let's see. I don't see like an indention on the bolt itself, but maybe right there. Oh. Maybe. Should get a fresh semi bolt to find out. Anyways, well, that's that part. Thanks.